would prefer to use the software Macromedia Dreamweaver and actually I should mention if you go to macromedia.com you can generally get a 30 day free trial of their software so you may wish to take a look Dreamweaver compared to Mozilla Composer is a lot more powerful it's really designed for professional web designers and has got a huge amount of features and functionality you're generally not going to use or you're going to use very very rarely however if you do wish to use the software or get to know this software you can again very easily apply the the tactics of creating a mini site in in Mozilla Composer and you can easily transfer it over here to Dreamweaver so okay let's quickly go through this we want to open we, we want to create a new blank uh, let's try again file new a new blank web page basic page HTML create that's fine a basic blank page and then we want to add a table insert table and again you're seeing the same terms, the same standard HTML features, tables, you know, tables, rows, table width, and so on again and again. So four rows, one column, one column, pixels five hundred excuse me, six hundred pixels generally is what I go for. Zero width border, cell padding of zero, cell excuse me, wrong way round, cell padding of 10, cell spacing of 0. Okay, so let's OK that. And what we can do, now we can select the table by choosing modify table, select table, okay, it's selected and let's modify let's choose a line no excuse me excuse me my mistake I neglected to mention and actually I mom momentarily forgot even though I use Dreamwe Dreamweaver a lot generally is that a lot of the settings automatically appear here in the properties options box here. So we've selected the table and you can see most of the options we've chosen. What we want to do is click on align and center. And to make sure the properties options appear, if you go to window, make sure properties is ticked. And you'll see with Dreamweaver if you start clicking these Okay, when it decides to respond. Right, you see more options appearing here. And if we choose more, you start getting more and more on the screen and it becomes very, or well, slightly crowded. And it, the more in depth you go into its features, the more complicated it becomes and really for creating basic yet very usable mini sites Dreamweaver is somewhat overkill you know Mozilla Composer works perfectly well however let's just finish this example let's go rid of those to free up some screen space uh, we want to get rid of that so click here there we go okay we're back so again, just in the top row, link 1, space, hyphen, space, or space, vertical line, space, as you wish, link 2, link 3, link 4. And again, you click, hold, and drag. You can align it in the center. You can change the font. Let's okay. Let's ignore that for now. Let's change the size. Let's say 14. 
and you can make it bold and you can specify